Here we've got a Cannondale Motera e-bike with a Bosch drive system and we're going to put a Bosch speed unlock chip in it today. The battery cover is simple. If you've got one of these you should know how to do that. Let's pull that off. We're going to start on the bash guard. We're going to take this big Allen key out here. Okay, if we come around to the front, you can see we've got two small Allen keys here we're going to remove, these little bolts. You can in fact just loosen these off, don't have to remove them completely. Okay, here's the bolt for the bash guard here, it looks like we can just get to it. If you can't reach it, got a different cassette you're gonna to have to pop off the cassette to be able to get this bolt out okay now you got those bolts out you should just be able to pull that cover right down now I've got great access to the motor plugs plenty of room in this one so we're just gonna pull out that motor connector and then pull out this connector. See this one? I zoom right in. There we go. So that one is a grey connector. I pull out this next one. That one's a blue connector. So the one we want is the grey. So I'm going to plug the blue back in where it was. Okay, here we've got our E plus chip we're going to install. It's got four connectors coming off it. We've got ourselves some quick connectors to connect the Bosch plugs. So what we're going to do is we're going to install the quick connectors first. So we grab our four pin. And we find the end with the little notch. We line it up. Plug it in until it slides on. Okay, now for this little grey plug. Flip it around till we can see that little ridge. Put that into this connector. Now we've got these connectors connected. We're going to get the motor plug. Plug that in the same way until we hear a nice click. Going to get the other motor plug, the speed sensor one. Plug that in nicely. Now we got the two plugs off the chip. We'll plug them into the motor where the original plugs came out. These can't go in the wrong way, so if they don't push in easily, flip them upside down, try again. Okay, so we can see now the motor plugs are installed and the chip's connected. And just dangling. So next step, let's hold this up in the dark so hopefully you can see. We turn on the bike, the green and red LEDs will flash. Okay, that flash means the chip's powered on and has turned on successfully. Next step is we're going to pack it all in here, put the cover back on and we'll go for a test ride. There's heaps of space in this one, so it's not going to be too difficult. What I'm going to do is put the chip up on top of the motor. Stick my fingers up there and find the right angle to gently poke it in. Okay, there we go, the chip's up there, stashed away. And we'll just tuck the connectors underneath here. We'll put the cover back on to cover it all up.
Okay. I'll loosely put this back screw in here to make it a bit easier to get the front of the guard in without the back dropping out. Okay, we're just putting these front screws in now. Tighten up this rear one. Okay, now we're back around the other side. Let's try and carefully get our bolt in behind this cassette. It's going to be a bit tricky. Okay, there we go. When we press the walk button, you see 2.2 .2 in the top corner. That means the chip's on. 1.1, chip's off. When we go for a ride, after we stop, we'll notice this counting 0 0.9, 0 0.8, 0 0.8, 0 0.7. It's gonna count down to 0, 0.0. You gotta let that countdown complete when you stop your ride. Otherwise, the Bosch chip can be detected by the Bosch anti-tuning system. So, provided you let this countdown go to zero before you turn off your bike, the chip won't be detected and you'll be able to keep enjoying riding unlocked.